You can see my dirty room. That's a little embarrassing. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a everyday makeup routine plus an eyebrow tutorial. I wanted to do one for you guys just because my last video y'all wanted a little bit more in-depth makeup tutorial. Some of you guys actually left comments like complimenting my eyebrows and when I went back and I watched I was like my eyebrows look like doo doo. And then um, I updated my brow routine about maybe like a week and a half ago. I started doing something different after watching some more tutorials. Like, you know, I'm going to try it. And now I'm in love with my brows. My brows stay, stay. My brows stay every day. My brows slay every day. Because my brows are now like always on fleek. They're always on point now. So I made an updated eyebrow tutorial for you guys. So that now y'all's eyebrows can be on fleek. And don't copy what I did in the last video because that was gross. Now, without further ado, let's get so started. To start out, I typically go in with my Monoset Complete Care Chafing Relief Powder Gel Skin Protectant. It's a mouthful. But I am obviously running out, so I'm just going to skip this. Um, <clears throat> something about this, yes, some people do know that like Monostat is like a company that like, specializes in like vaginal care products, kind of. But this is just a chafing powder gel, which basically means like if your skin rubs together and like it gets raw, that's what this does. And basically the same ingredients that are in this little guy are um, contain like the same ingredients that Sephora's like primers have in theirs. Just this is $30 cheap. I only find these at Walmart. I can never find these in HEBs. So I advise everyone to go buy these because this is like the perfect skin primer. Before you start your makeup, that's just like cheap. And so what I use in my makeup is pretty cheap in like drugstore products. So I advise that. I've used that for like a couple of years now and it's awesome. So yeah. So I'm just going to start in with my LA Girl Pro Setting HD Setting Spray. It has a map. I'm just going to start with this just to kind of set my face before I start just a little bit. Even though it's not really a primer. I don't know, it's just been working the last couple. I still use my Fit Me Shine Free and Balance um, Foundation Stick by Maybelline. So some of you were asking about that, that's what this is. And this is in 355 Coconut. I just kind of run this over my dark marks. I don't wear like foundation and concealer and stuff to completely cover my marks. I, for some odd reason, like them to show. I don't know, I don't like just for me personally, having that like flawless, completely flawless skin look. Like I want my impurities to come through because it's like, this is me, this is, that's it. So I don't know, it's weird. And I'm not knocking people who love the full coverage thing. Like it looks great, but I don't know. Just me personally, especially for everyday use, I do not. So I'm just using an old beauty blender. You can get these like Walmart's, HEBs. I don't know, mine's disgusting, I'm sorry. And I'm just like dabbing that all in just to blend it. So once I've kind of blended that in, you can still see my scars, but they are just a little bit lightened, which is what I like. Just they're not as prominent. I use the Maybelline New York Real Impact Mascara by The Great Lash. And I just do a couple coats of this. I will, I don't know how to say it. I'll like go on the back of the lash and just twist the wand to get all the product off and kind of pull away. And then I'll just like blink like normal. So 
So my eyebrows naturally are very, very light. And you're probably looking at me like, no, they're not. These eyebrows have been, I only last for like two and like one and a half, like two and a half days. I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's like the Godfrey, Go, 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 Froy. I don't make fun. I don't know how to say this. Either way, I don't have the box because I've had it for so long. But I use, this is what their like developer looks like. And then it comes with this little, um, I don't know what to call it. This little container that you mix the product in. And the product is just one of these little capsules. So there's like, like a little box of capsules. Oh, and mine's in the color dark brown. And you get these little capsules. And what you do is you just like pop it open and you pour the little powder into your little container and you put the same amount of developer in there you can just pour it in there and you just mix it up with the little angle brush that they give you to apply and then you just apply the shape of your brush so I'm not gonna show that part just because I've already done it two days ago and I don't want to like damage my brows like doing them too often and I'm sure that's a thing probably I don't know <clears throat> but I don't want to mess them up or like over do them. I'm not gonna show you that. That is what I do. Maybe like one day I'll show y'all a video of like me dyeing my eyebrows. But for now, no. Um, so now, that was the part we've all been waiting for. I myself, like this is my favorite part because it makes me so happy. So I use four things when doing my eyebrows. I have my same Fit Me concealer from earlier an angled brush this is from a sephora palette that i bought um this wet n wild color icon black uh eyebrow slash eyeliner pencil and i have this nyx eyebrow pencil in dark brown it has a little like spoolie brush on the end so i'm gonna start it going in with my nyx pencil i'm going to just start by underlining the bottom all the way till I get to the tail so I have like something to kind of go off of and then I just like start going and I'll start like towards the middle front and just follow my brow Now I just use little kind of hair like strokes just to make it as natural-ish as possible. And then once I've filled it all, I'm just going to move my hand to the edge of the pencil and just lightly fill in with upward strokes. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other brow really fast. Now once my eyebrows have been filled in, now comes the fun part. Applying your foundation or concealer, whatever, around the edges to get that more defined look. So I just take my Sephora brush and I just like rub that on my little concealer. I'm gonna start by outlining the front, like the bottom front of my brow. And just using like Little strokes, not continuous, of course. And then I'm gonna start on the top. So same thing, start with the front. And I'm just gonna follow my eyebrow. I'm gonna leave that one while I go around the other brow. I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm 
I'm going to go back and what I do is I kind of start blending everything out. So just the foundation that I applied, I just bring it all down. So I'm just gonna like find where like the foundation is and just bring it down towards my lid. And then the same thing with the top, I'm just gonna go up on my forehead. Fine look and to blend out whatever foundation is on my lids I just take my little blendy brush not blendy brush what is this my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend on my lid and around my eyebrow so now my brows are done so I'm just gonna do my edges really fast and then we are finished So that was my everyday makeup plus eyebrow routine video. Please like and subscribe and comment down below how you like the video. Please leave comments down below on questions that you have for me that I can answer in a Q&A video. And also comments down below on different video ideas that you might have for me to do. I will see you guys next for watching.